how you doing? Uh, this is, uh, we're talking about number six. Now we're in the series of Restore My Soul. Hopefully it's going to get a little bit more uh, specific and uh, strong too. Hope everybody enjoys. Um, again, last time we were talking about, on uh, part five, uh, we were talking about that even the lowest people, the per- people who feel like they're the first, the furthest away from Hashem, um, they have to understand that basically, when people are going from level to level, from one place, from one level to the next, you have to start. It looks like you have to start all over again. All over again, but the truth is, you're just going through. Um, you're going through the same uh you're going through the obstacles um that you went through before i'll bite uh you, I'll, usually um at at a higher level it's returning and it could be stronger to a certain degree also since you're already uh you ready you feel like you already conquered those desires and those confusions so it feels like you fell so one of the things we learned last last time is don't look to not look down on yourself because you because it looked like you fell, okay. Whether it doesn't matter what happened, you don't look down on yourself. That's the most important thing, because appearances are deceiving. So we want to, we need to know that everybody from the greatest to the smallest, okay, literally, is uh, going through this process of of going up and down, up and down, and when you go to the next level, it looks like you went down, because the beginning of the level, is the schmutz is the dirt we're going to start talking about the dirt also so when a person first starts entering the service of god actually one of the things they had to deal with was the previous confusions the second they decided to start to they when they decided they want to serve god they already just they that means they just defeated some sort of schmutz some sort of dirtiness some sort of some sort of dirt some sort of confusions and 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 distractions that um that that they're going through uh so basically when when a person's entering the service of god it means they're entering it means they in order to enter you have to actually go through some stuff okay um and it's normal and it's healthy and it's part of the the system and the process okay it's like uh you're going on the road for, i would say like let's just use an example from florida to new york and you see like a nice billboard to the right, to the left, to the right. Every like five, ten minutes, you're seeing another billboard. And then finally, this one billboard distracts you like, oh, we got to go see that. And then you forget all about why you got on the road in the first place. Okay, so a lot of times, you know, a person starts serving God. And um, the reason that they get distracted, they fall away. And they forgot what they were doing in the first place. Um so our job is to be able to not be distracted by those things and even if we are that it's not our whole life and we can continue moving okay so we're gonna let's first let's start out let's start this off part six right here when a person wishes to enter into the service of god and this applies to everyone even someone in the lowest of the lowest of levels even someone who is literally in the earth person says i'm like it's like i'm in the ground already you know, it's, their funeral already happened. They're already, they're already in the ground. They must at all times, even that person must at all times advance and rise from level to level, from one thing to the next. Now, every time a person is about to move from one level to the next, each in his own way, his or her own way, the person has to encounter the full force of all of the negative forces all over again, all of the of the impure forces, the negative forces, again, the confusions, the the setbacks, um, the negative thinking. So there's endless to say about this, okay? That person has to encounter all over again. These are all a person's desires and fantasies and wild thoughts. The distractions and obstacles that are ranged against a person at every moment and that try to prevent a person from entering the gates of holiness. And this is coming from the side of the Yitzhahara, of the evil inclination, which tries to um, create a picture in our head and paint the picture in a way that makes it look very unfavorable, whether it's pe- judging other people unfavorably, ourselves unfavorably, or just making reality look really uh, like poop. 
and really like it, 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 it shuts and it, it, what do you what do you call it uh, it uh, basically uh, it, it creates a bad vibe and also sets uh, what do you call it um, sets the stage up for even worse things okay through these through these um, confusions and all of these th- all of these things and it's supposed to be and the reason why is because it prevents a person from entering the gates of holiness okay so whoever is going to be worthy it's not going to be somebody who's worthy it's going to be somebody who who realizes <laughs> who who counts on God who basically looks to Hashem for help looks to God for help that it's not about being worthy or not worthy to, to be holy it's about those who who actually will count on God and ask God for help that's how you get through this but we'll go forward what it's saying this often the fact that a person has all these desires and fantasies at every new level every the, the beginning of every level the person has to go through okay the fact that and and these things are are basically standing at the entrance of the gates of holiness and these often lead to great confusion in the minds of honest people who have truly worked hard on themselves okay so the people that have truly worked hard on themselves suddenly they find all these old desires the same ones that they used to have a year ago months ago uh, last week or two weeks ago they thought they already you know conquered them and they find these obstacles rising up against them the same way same confusions they start thinking that they must have fallen from their level because before this they remember that they had rest from all these desires and confusions that they they lay dormant now that they have reappeared these people come to think they must have fallen down but this is no this is not a fall what is happening is that the time has come for them to advance from one level to the next each in a person's everybody's own way this is why all the desires and confusions and obstacles all the crookedness in the heart are stirred up against the person with fresh force each time this happens you must fortify yourself and refuse to lose heart strengthen yourself against these forces and break them anew that's the end of that paragraph and that was uh, part six so we learned that at every new stage every new level we're all advancing from a level to level where all of us everyone is from the smallest to the greatest doesn't matter who you are okay and we can even talk about how that process goes also because you can say in a certain way let's say god uh what do you call it um what do you call it? Rav Shalom Arush writes in a safer garden of a garden of Amuna, um, garden of, of faith. He writes over there um, about uh, a person that that God loves. God rebukes them, and rebuke is really more of a harsh word. But God basically is sending sends them a message. When a people don't get the the lighter message, so God then sends louder messages and louder and louder and louder and louder and louder. Okay. So you could say at every moment a person is supposed to be growing. A lot of times, most times, people feel that they're not growing at all, okay? And years and years go by, months and months go by, and people feel like they don't, they're don't. they not growing. Suddenly, uh, the person is woken up with a loud bang, right? Why is that loud bang happening so much? Like, why, why, why is it so loud? Why is it such a you know a heavy bang that a person has to wake up and God is waking them up like that why after so many years one Hashem wants God wants to get our attention because he, he doesn't want us to sleep and number two sp- you know spiritually he doesn't want us to sleep and number two and number two which is the most important thing that God is really he wants not only does he want us to wake up by now at that moment he for sure he wants us to wake up but also if we're able to find him at that place really if we're able to find him at this loud bang we could take all the darkness and bring it back to light also it's like the idea in in many aspects of uh of repentance out of out of love or out of fear in a certain way also as well if a person is able to come back to god in such a tremendous way he can cancel he not only can cancel out all of the things, all the darkness that pass, all the days passed in darkness, but also that person can take all of those darkness, all the days passed in darkness, and turn it to light, 
and use it and show that actually it had a purpose and that the days that I was asleep, the days that I was asleep, it was it was to remind me of what sleep was, that I've been sleeping for so long and I need to wake up. And 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 then I and I and I already know where sleeping leads. I, I person says if a person has been through let's say in a cave where there are like some scary things in the cave, they've been there a thousand times because they had to go, because they didn't know any anywhere else to go for safety. After finding a better place to take, to take a, to that's a safe haven, a better place that's safer, okay. If somebody will ask him, would you like to go back in this cave? They'll be like, no, I've been down that cave a thousand times. I know exactly what's over there. I choose the, I like the other place better. I know where the, I know where that cave leads, right? The same thing here. A person who spent their days and years sl- slumbering, sleeping, and their soul feels asleep. They don't know who they are and what they're supposed to be doing here in this world, that there is a God or that God has a purpose and he's leading us towards ultimate, ultimate goal, ultimate achievement. Okay, so... So that person will have to deal with, you know, God waking them up. And God sends really very nice, very nice messages. And as long as we're honest, we're looking for the truth, we can find it. And actually, in a more, we can always find it in a pleasant way. It's always right in front of us. And then when we don't get those subtle, those, those subtle things, then, then it has to be louder. So the louder it is, obviously, the more obvious it'll be at the right time. But we want to also try to look to be attuned to those things, okay? So I don't want to go on a, on a extreme tangent. We can talk about this at a later time as well on how to deal with this, how to deal with the wake-up calls. But everybody should know no matter where you are, from the biggest to the smallest, you're rising. You are rising, okay? How you look at it will decide what you will be able to deal with, so to speak. So to speak, you're rising, meaning you're dealing with the tests of higher levels constantly, of higher levels constantly. And in order to deal with that, you have to rise to the occasion. When you're able to rise to the occasion, you can you can usurp, you can take a, all, you can receive all of the benefits on that level. And in addition to that, also in previous levels, if you merit, if you, if you if you know how to how to look at your life up to that point and realize, wow. I need to take like a thousand steps back. So then you're, 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 you're backtracking your steps. You'll be able to check yourself out and see, wow, how, what do I need to work on? All that and above and more. Okay. So the last thing we spoke about here and, and, and uh, the, uh, what do you call it? The, the, the uh, part six is is that a person needs to know that at every new level there is this crookedness of the heart that a person has to deal with deal with which is the confusions and the setbacks and everything that a person had to deal with before okay and your job our job is to once you learn this once we're learning this right now together okay is to realize this is reality the heart rate monitor that you see in the hospital is true our life is up and down up and down and how you deal with the ups and how you deal with the downs is gonna gonna be your life. That's gonna be your life. It's gonna it's it's gonna be that will help you. Okay, this analogy will help you understand that already ahead of time before everything. Know that things go up and down. How much up? How much down? I it's not up to me. It's up to God. Everything. No, just know it's gonna go up and down. Okay, and when we when we're aware that it's going to go up and down, our job is to ask at each moment, what are we supposed to believe at that time? And Rabbi Nachman is showing us that at the time that we're falling, at the time the confusions are happening, know that this is normal. Know it's real. Know it's o- it's okay. But you don't have to succumb to it. You don't have to believe that you fell. You don't have to believe in that. Believe that it's a new level. Believe that you, Hashem has n- better, higher, greater things for you. And this is part of the test to achieve those things. And it's also the way that you're going to be able to show your, you, that you're a soldier. You're a soldier for God. 
that you're that that uh, that you're you're willing to fight for your for your soul, because your soul is who you are. This your spirituality, the your characteristics, your character traits, your patience. That's really who you are. The other rest of the part is a person can act like an animal. A person can act like an animal. An animal is an animal, but a person acting like an animal is not what we're going for. We're trying to go for human beings acting like human beings. So when the confusions and the doubts come. If you fall, you can always get back up, and you don't have to fall. If you re if you ready, if you recognize that this is a part of your life, ups and downs. When you go to the downs, you're going to your next level. So prepare, prepare, prepare all the time. When things are good, prepare. My, when my rabbi said, when you have a good day, don't make it a hundred percent day. Make it a three hundred percent day, because when 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 the times are hard, so you can't always account for how much ground you're going to cover. The most important things, when when times are difficult, is to be able to know how to look at them. What how what your perception is when your perception is clear, on what's going on. When you know I'm gonna go through ups and downs. Oh, I'm going through the down right now. Ah, I'm going through a new level. Don't take it seriously. Don't 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 get sucked into it. Hashem will help you. Just ask Him for help. Remind yourself that every new level there are new tests. You're going to the next level. Hashem will continuously help you. We will continue to discuss more on this topic. There's going to be more, way more stuff. It's going to be more in depth as well. And I hope everybody enjoys. And I hope everybody's enjoyed up to now as well. Okay? Um, and I hope everybody has also a great day and a great night. See you for part seven next time.